Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys about one of my favorite math curriculums for lower elementary. Now I have been a homeschooling mom for going on seven years and my oldest is in fifth grade now. My youngest is still a toddler. <laughs> I have six of them, so four of them are actual school age right now. So this particular curriculum, as I said, is one of my favorites. So let's get started and I'll tell you all about it. When I first started homeschooling my oldest son, I actually used Singapore math and I actually really liked it. But then once it got to second grade, I really wanted to go a different direction with it. And I really like, so if you are not familiar with Singapore math, it is what you call a mastery based curriculum. The alternative to a mastery based program, which is mastering facts, things like that. Another mastery based program that you might be really familiar with is one called Matthew C. Those are mastery based math curriculums. On the other hand, you have what is called a spiral curriculum. These include things like Horizons, Abeka, um, Saxon Math, those different maths like that. Now, for me, I actually really, really like an in-between, especially for the younger grades. And I feel like the curriculum I'm going to share with you guys today is a great in-between. So, we have tried different maths through the years. We tried math lessons for a living education from master books. We have done Singapore. We've done teaching textbooks. My oldest son, as of right now, is doing Saxon. That has always been the plan once he gets into about fifth grade and beyond to go the route of Saxon math. But until then, I have decided that this is going to be my go-to math. It is the one I have kept coming back to and I can't recommend it enough. So this is Christian Light Education, Christian Light Publication, whichever way you would like to say it. This is their math program. Now, this is a curriculum that is very reminiscent of Rod and Staff, if you are familiar with that one. Um, Rod and Staff curriculum and Christian Light Publications are both Mennonite curriculums. So as far as pictures and things in here, you're gonna see some pictures that are reminiscent of that life. So in just a second, I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside this math. And then I'm also going to now tell you what I love about it. So there are a few things about this math that I really, really love. So I love the fact that it is kind of a cross between that mastery based and spiral based math curriculum. So you get a good um, focus on the mastery of facts and things like that, which I think is really important in those younger grades because if you can have those like basic math facts memorized, like your addition and subtraction facts even, and then of course moving on into your multiplication facts, then it is really helpful when learning new concepts throughout your lifetime in math. So that is one reason why I like that, that there is a lot of emphasis on that. But then there is equal emphasis on the constant review and that whole spiral approach that we've learned this skill, let's build on it and learn this one, let's build on it and learn this one. And so this does a great job at combining the two. Now, this curriculum was specifically written for a classroom. However, it is super applicable to homeschooling. I have had no problem. All it is is it is scripted in the teacher's manual, which I will show you in a little while. However, um, you don't have to read the scripting when it says ask students, blah, 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 blah. Have students come up to the board and do this or that. Um, but it's basically the same you would teach it the same way at home as you would in a classroom. So um, that is no issue at all. So the other thing I really like about this curriculum is that the student books are actually in these small little workbooks called light units. So each unit of math that they're gonna learn, there are 10 units total for each level of this math. Um, each one has a different light unit. Inside the light units, you have the different lessons, but then there are also two quizzes and then a unit test. Now, 
these quizzes, none of my kids have ever felt um, nervous or anything like that when taking these quizzes. They're like one page long and it's a great snapshot just to see how well they can do these concepts independently. Um, I don't even really call them a quiz. Like I say it's a quiz, but I don't put the pressure on them in that way, if that makes sense. Um, and then the unit test, I feel like it's also a great way to gauge are they getting those concepts without you right beside them helping them and i'll just tell them to do their best and then they have always just done them so i am going to spin the camera around and show you what it looks like on the inside but um it does come with so this is for units the teacher's guide for units one through five and then there's another one that's unit six through 10. So if, for example, you look at the scope and sequence of this and you um, see that maybe your child is beyond a certain point in the curriculum, what's nice about it is you can buy the teacher's you can buy the teacher's book that goes with whatever units you need to do or start on. All right, so I'm taking you to the website real quick just to show you everything on here and how really affordable it is. Um, I also wanted to show you the other things you can get to go along with it, like the counting book and the counting chart and also the flashcards. We actually don't use those. We do use the flashcards, but we have our own that we already had. And then there are some optional items you can add as well. So as I said before, this is the teacher's guide. Um, it is very, very easy to follow. It gives really good information. It has daily schedule ideas. I actually don't use any of those. I just go by, we do one lesson a day. So for example, lesson one, it has materials that you're gonna need for the whole lot unit for 101. And then it also has the skills that they're gonna be learning in this lesson the preparation that you might need to do. <clears throat> and then anything in bold is what you are going to be teaching. Now, in all honesty, there are some things that I don't feel the need to read or go over. That is where you as a parent can decide what you think is super pertinent to what you're teaching here. It has you do some counting. It tells you how to introduce the different math facts. It has you do some little oral exercises. And then this is the um, new concept that they're learning right here. And so you would read this and do what it says, or you could read it and put into your own words an activity that does something similar to what they're suggesting to do here. The next thing it has is just more instructions. So I feel like it's laid out really, really easy to understand. And it, this is a very comprehensive, but also incremental curriculum. It's very thorough, very, very thorough. If you're looking for a curriculum that is gonna lay a very solid foundation for your child, this is definitely a great one to go with. Now, as far as length of lessons, honestly, I don't know that it has ever taken more than 20 minutes to do a math lesson. Um, I'll show you what the math lessons look like in here. So this is one of my son's math. So, so I am just going to grab this lot unit 101. We'll start with, let's start with lesson 12, just so you can get a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. So the first thing that they do, they always have this little warm up box. So this here, they are using place value and they figure out, you know, what lesson they are on, which obviously it's right there, but it's a great uh, exercise just to keep certain concepts fresh. Then they always introduce a new math fact. There's always a problem story. Then you start with the new concepts and skills. So as you can see, these pages, like we're talking like how many problems is that? So problem, problem, problem. And then there's this where you just say the numbers and they write it in the tens place and the ones place. So this really does not take long at all. Then you have a money concepts. So you do that and then writing numbers before and after. So you can see all the different types of skills that you are doing in this chapter. And then you always have an I can do this section. 
The I can do this section is of course for your child to do independently. Now sometimes there is stuff in this section where you have to orally say something and they have to write it down. Um, but for the most part, it is a completely independent section, which is really nice when you are teaching a first grader and you have the opportunity to have something in a curriculum that is independent of you. Then sometimes you'll have this little section here, which is a just for fun section, and they'll have little fun activities like this. Now, they know they're at the end of a lesson when it has that. When that happens, if there is one, there is the option, you don't have to do it, we do it just because my kids think it's fun. There is the option to turn to the back and do a speed drill. This is only one minute timed just to see how many math facts they can get correct in one minute. Again, this is just a great way to keep track of things and um, is a fun way to, to motivate and introduce a little competition, a little healthy competition too. So this is the first lot unit. Let me grab lot unit number 10 so you can see the depth in which they go in this first grade curriculum. All right, and so one, one more thing I forgot to show you guys, and I'll show it to you in this one because there's actually no quizzes or tests in the very first lot unit, but there is in this one. So this one does have, um, let's see. So let's see how far they go in first grade in this curriculum. So again, they are reviewing their place value. They are doing some number lines, which is basically like early graphing. Then there is money and you're dictating numbers once again. This of course is a review chapter normally. And then you are doing um, some early two digit subtraction there, um, some fractions. and some two digit addition. Now let's see, I'm gonna turn to the back and show you really quick. It will tell you when to give the quizzes. Um, like I said, there are two. There is one towards the middle and one towards the end. Um, so this would be a quiz. So this would be quiz one. So that is all they would have to do for quiz number one. Okay, and I will show you the test really quick. This is the test, and it is in the middle of the book, which is a little bit weird, but, um, but it's fun. So this is the test for the very last unit in the level one of Christian Light Education. I don't know if you can see that there, all the concepts that they're doing, the multiple numbers of addition and mixed subtraction and addition problems, three digit, more fractions, and some pretty complex counting of money. Now, um, let's see what they introduce in the very last chapter or so of this curriculum just so you can get an idea for how far and how much they learn in first grade because I will tell you they start out really really slow in this first lot unit so slow in fact they're learning just how to form numbers even and this is how far they go but you guys what's amazing about this curriculum is it has never once felt overwhelming none of my kids have had an issue with it it has been a really really solid curriculum I just can't say enough good things about it. So some story problems that are a little more advanced here. Oh, that's a just for fun thing, sorry. Okay, and so three, three digit addition. All right, so that is what, that is how far they go just in first grade. A really great visual skill of um so in singapore math they did number bonds so this is very similar to that so basically what they do with this is it's got the 18 on the top the nine and the nine so they would write out the math problem nine plus nine equals 18 nine plus nine equals 18 to do their twin facts and then also 18 minus nine equals nine 18 minus 9 equals 9. 
So it's actually a really neat visual for them to learn those related math facts. Um, at first, when I first taught this curriculum and I saw this in the book, I was like, what is this? Because I didn't learn that way. Um, <laughs> but it actually is a really neat visual and it has been really helpful for my kids. So that is Christian Lot publications, Christian Light Education, whatever you want to call it, math. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. It is a very affordable curriculum. This, this is consumable, which can kind of be a downside, but um, most, most math curriculums at this level are consumable. Um, this, however, could be used between multiple kids, and a lot of times you can find the teacher books used. So, as I said, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions down below, please leave them down below. Make sure that you push that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on future videos.